guys um just a quick review on the um, on the 100 percent pure long last concealer with super fruits uh, which says it's water resistant i've got the shade alpine rose um, and it comes in the usual box uh, from you know the cardboard box by 100 percent pure uh, it says it's an all natural long lasting on caking concealer that is water sweat and oil resistant colored from antioxidant rich fruits and vegetable pigment very blendable formula lasts all day um, so it's basically yeah cruelty free gluten free and uh, it lasts for six months after opening so it's basically uh, where is it here so six months um, so it's basically that that's the box and this is the actual um, you know the packaging for the concealer We've got all the ingredients here and uh, basically you if I can open it uh, as you can see it's got a little mirror here and uh, so that's the product I've used uh, quite a bit only because I use this for mixing with other found with some foundations that I've got that are a bit too dark so I use this to lighten uh, those foundations that are too dark for me because um, I don't use this as a concealer on its own because to be honest it doesn't do anything for me um, it's very it's not I need the concealer that is quite uh, I mean maybe not full full coverage but at least like medium coverage and this one is not that at all it's quite sheer so once you blend it once you start blending it it's kind of disappearing into this into the skin and it's very emollient um, so it's a bit it's a bit like the hint beauty but very very sheer but it's the same emollient like um yeah it's the same type of emollient that uh, emollient yeah, i don't know how you say that but yeah it's kind of as emollient as the hint beauty but the hint beauty is still a medium a medium to full coverage type of uh, concealer and this one is not so um you know last all day i don't think so because it kind of you can't really see it but i want to show you a few swatches on my arm um sorry i'm just trying to um do it as best as as i can but i've got my phone camera and i actually i don't think i can do that but so the first color the first stripe uh, sorry, I can't point that out because I'm holding my phone with uh, my right hand and my uh, my swatches are on the left hand, as you can see here. So I can't point, uh, I'm afraid. But the first swipe that you see is the actual 100% uh, pure in Alpine Rose Concealer. Um the second one is the most recent purchase that I've made by uh, Nabla, uh, which is an Italian makeup brand, and uh, that is the um, is their new concealer, um, which resembled the Tarte concealer, and uh, is the um, ivory shade. Then I've got the um, oh, what's this one here? Uh, let me see. That's the uh, Inica. So the very light next to the Nabla one is uh, Inica concealer. The lightest shade. I think it's called Very Light. Um, the actual shade of that uh, Inica concealer. Um, then we've got Hint Beauty in light. And then Hint Beauty in fair. Um, which... They don't really look that much different, uh, you know, these last two on my arm. But basically that's what we are working with. To be honest, the Nabla one is the most uh, yellow and the darkest one out of all, all of the others that we've got here. Alpine Rose, I don't know, it's... Uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of, uh, I mean, if you see it in, uh, I don't know here how to do it, because this light is probably not too good. But, yeah, it's kind of maybe more of a pinker shade than the, um, the Nabla. And, uh, yeah, like the last two, the Hint Beauty are quite pinkish as well on me anyway. Um... So basically, yeah, just to say about this concealer that I don't use, uh, you know, I wanted to try it out um, to see how how it works, but I cannot use it as a concealer by itself because it's just um, too sheer. It doesn't have any coverage. It doesn't really do much for me in terms of com covering blemishes, covering redness that I have. Uh, on my face so that's basically it um, so I'm, I'm not gonna repurchase this uh, I'm only like using it or trying to use it I don't use it all the times but when uh, you know when I want to use some foundations that are pretty dark on me then I use this to lighten the, the those foundations that's all the use I'm doing and I think I purchased this through the uh, ecoverde.co.uk uh, they sell 100% pure uh, products so yeah I skip on this but yeah obviously great ingredients as usual um, but yeah if you don't have much to cover then you know try it out uh, but otherwise just keep it because it's too expensive to be honest it's not really worth uh, the effort um, it's great on the skin I guess you know it's great for your skin because it has really good ingredients but other than that I would uh, give it a pass there are better natural concealer out there like the Inica one for instance it's uh, it's got more coverage than than this one Although, I mean, it's not uh, uh, full coverage at all. It's probably more of a light to medium, that one. Um, but yeah, it's kind of... This one, I cannot build it to to even a medium coverage, to be honest. So yeah, um, hope this was helpful, uh, this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. That would really make my day. And I hope you uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. Have a good weekend, everyone.